All right, so, Anne, thank you for so much for joining me. Thank Welcome. You. How, how have you been? Yeah, <laughs> thank you for asking. <laughs> That's really kind. <laughs> um, I've been great, actually. Good. So I'll tell you what I'm in town for. Oh, what is it? Um, I am speaking tomorrow morning mm -hmm. on one of the featured stages wow. about some research we did. So I'll, can I give you the whole shebang? The Absolutely. The whole thing? You can relax. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the list is a community of high-impact women, highly curated, but they are devoted to helping each other succeed. Mm -hmm. And we did some research last year about the impact of loneliness mm -hmm. on women's careers. And so you're asking me, like, why loneliness? Because the Surgeon General says that loneliness is an epidemic, a health epidemic, a mental health epidemic, on par with the opioid crisis. And I thought to myself, what, what is this doing? What is this loneliness, isolation, overwhelm doing to women's careers? Mm -hmm. Turns out terrible things. Turns out that um, it is fraying their personal relationships. It is worse when you're in the beginning of your career, but it gets worse as you, as you um, it's, it's worse for millennials and Gen Z, but it gets worse as you get more senior. And it's preventing women from moving into positions of greater, greater power because they're opting out of jobs because of the impact on their personal lives because it's so lonely and isolating. Wow. Hold up. So that's very depressing. Very, right? No, it just keeps going Yeah, so this is last year. Yeah. Um, and by the way, men are deeply lonely too, mm -hmm. right? So, am I this putting out that vibe right now? But my business, oh. my business is about women, so okay, I can't... Okay. I can't solve the men problem okay. right now, but it's not. this is not a men versus women. This is not a competition. Okay. This is everybody is deeply lonely. Yep. This year, I'm coming to the main stage to talk about the solutions. Mm -hmm. How do we... We did another round of That's, research. Yeah, we're going to turn... We're, you're giving them the... the really, yeah. We're coming back. We're, co well, we're, that coming, dark place. we're coming back, right, because it's a bummer. But And yes, if you're lonely, overwhelmed, isolated, you know that it's a drag, mm -hmm. right? You don't need me to tell you. Mm -hmm. What I'm here to do in South By is to talk about the solutions. How do we create togetherness? Mm -hmm. So that's, I can't tell you those answers because South By will yell at me for telling you the things I'm supposed to oh, talk about tomorrow on the yeah, main no, stage. No, 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 don't do that. But everybody should, should uh, we'll be live streamed, mm -hmm. if it's, but it, you should add it to your calendar, but I'll be live streamed tomorrow to be talking about these solutions. I'm on the stage with Justin McLeod, who's the CEO of Hinge. He used to. He actually used to pitch at our events. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, so that's what I'm here for. You asked me mm -hmm. how I'm doing, which is actually like one of the really important questions that you should ask somebody. How are you doing? Me? I'm great. Fantastic. Yeah. I missed lunch, but I'm, I'll be okay. Yeah. yeah. Can we get you a sandwich? No, Can I'm good. Can we get you I'm, some chips? I don't think you want to see me eat. I ate like a fox from that, okay. from that fantastic Mr. Fox movie. Like very quickly. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway... Uh, we're going to talk more about you. Okay, <laughs> thanks. So let's talk about, so you took over the, the list, right? The yeah. list was a thing. I know my co-founder, co-CEO, has been a part of it for a very, very long time. I like uh, her Jen, hat. Jen Consavo. Yeah. And so, but tell us how that all, because you, you came in and you took this over and you've been like, continue to grow it. And why don't you just talk about that whole process and where it's going? So I was a member of the list for about five years before I acquired it. Mm -hmm. And um, I acquired it sort of in the middle of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. when we were all desperate for human connection. And this group of leaders, women, non-binary and underrepresented leaders, were my lifeline during the pandemic. Like we would basically get on Zooms and stare at each other, googly eyed, like what are we, what's happening to our careers, what's happening to our families. But just to know that someone else was there going through these things and that we were in a space where we could be vulnerable and we were there to support each other's careers, it was so meaningful. Um, I had um, I had been editor in chief of Seventeen magazine. I wrote a book uh, for millennial women, helping them into the next stage of their lives to help them step into their power. I had built a large community of young, hungry, ambitious women. And so when I looked at this community that I had been a part of, very senior, very high impact women, and I could see how important they were to each other, I knew that this was a community that I wanted to bring under my umbrella, that I wanted to nurture and see grow. And frankly, the way that we are meaningful to each other, right? The members of our community are meaningful to each other. I want every single person to have that kind of meaning and connection in their life. That's fantastic. So how are you doing it? Like, what are you doing as a community? Like, what do you, what do you guys do now? Together? Well, so our community has grown. Yeah. Um, we've grown geographically. 
our diversity has grown, our numbers have grown a little, mm -hmm. we're still a very highly curated community. Yeah. But what I'm here to talk about this new initiative, which I will launch tomorrow. But you can't talk about it. I don't think I can even tell you the name. Mm. Um, but it's, but, <laughs> um, maybe I can tell you the name. I just won't tell no. you the data. Friends here. We're launching tomorrow, we're launching something called 10 Minutes to Togetherness. Oh. And we are going to teach you all how to build togetherness in just 10 oh. minutes a day and why those 10 minutes matter. Great. Um, and so that's, that is what we're doing. We are, this moment is a really big moment for me because we are taking the beautiful light that shines, we call it the magic of the list, and we're giving it to everybody. Oh, wow. I'm giving you the magic tomorrow. That's great. <laughs> we'll wait till tomorrow, though. Where are we going to do this? Um, on main stage. Well, I'm at the Hilton Salon H at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Yep, okay. Featured conversation. Mm -hmm. It's called Culturally Confronting Loneliness. Okay. Um, and um, if you're here with your phone out, um, link in with me on Anne Choquette mm -hmm. and... Um, S H O K E T and no E, link in with me, and that way, um, when I'm able to talk about this new initiative and help you get to the um, toolkit and research that you need, I'll be there. Um, I'll be there. Okay, that's that's great, and it, hopefully some folks jump jump into that and can be a part of it. Thank you for sharing. We're not putting these out immediately, so you'll be okay. I know uh, it's just for the right. It's for the folks in the room. I you. I'll give it. To, I'll send you. That'd be great. I'll send you the details okay. for the podcast. Um, so. A little bit more about the, the list. You've got some remarkable women on there. I'm not going to like list out all of them. I'm not going to name drop that way, but I know they're fantastic. I, yeah. I hear that all the time and some of the projects they're working on. So I wanted to, to know, like, what do you see? Like, how do you see, like, what are the traits you see in some of these women that you're just like, wow, this is phenomenal. And how do, I, like, how, how did they got there? And like, maybe tell us a little bit more about some of yeah, the, the so people. Sometimes people come to the list with really nuts and bolts questions. Yeah. I need a videographer. I need a website. Mm -hmm. I need a designer. I need to hire an assistant. I need a, occasionally I need a, a va an Airbnb vacation home for a lead. Um, and they also come with really vulnerable questions about the intersection of ambition and life for women, right? These really complicated, high-touch conversations that only someone who was, like, walking down this path with you could understand. Um, the... Uh, what was the question you asked me? You asked me something really specific. I wanted to like, give you that background. About how do you... Um these remarkable women, what are some of the traits yes, you see? Yes, who are some of these? Yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. So what were, this was where I was getting to. Um, we are not there to help you do better, get better. We're not, we don't want to help you get promoted. We don't want to help. We want, we want to help you realize your full potential. Like we want to help do big things. We want to unlock opportunities that no one else is able to unlock. And I'm like sure Jen has told you, you can come and ask these crazy questions mm -hmm. and there's someone on the list who knows the answer and not only knows the answer, can connect you to the person. There is, not, to me, the ter most terrible sin is if somebody says, oh my God, do you know so-and-so? And you go, no. And they say, oh my God, you have to know them. <laughs> and then don't introduce you. Wait, wait, wait. You Who does that? You want to be, yes. Oh my goodness. You want to be, the gatekeepers. Oh, you want to be with yeah. the people who are like, oh my gosh, you need to know so-and-so. Wait, and let I'm me introduce you right now. You right now. Yeah. Those are the people. Those are my people. Oh, so that's awesome. the, um, that's what I mean when I say that we are united by this drive to do big things. Mm -hmm. Because we want to help each other. Because when we help each other succeed, we're changing what it looks like to be powerful and successful in the world. So are there rules about, like, the people that join? Like, how do you know that everyone's going to be like that? Because people are sometimes just not nice. Um, yeah. To each other. So and, and sometimes even women aren't nice to women. It's interesting. We, re we have rules yeah. of how we behave. Yeah. You're nominated. Start, you start talking about politics. Is, is that a rule? Because, like, that could get really <laughs> dirty quickly. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> um... You know, we really work hard to create a culture, a mm -hmm. professional culture of gentleness and generosity mm -hmm. with each other. And that doesn't mean that you won't disagree. In fact, I think you have to disagree, right? Mm -hmm. That's the whole point. Um, and sometimes you don't want to listen to what someone else has to say or so when something, somebody says something that hits you in a spot that's like, that is not making me happy, right? Mm -hmm. And But all of those are very human reactions and so we have to be generous with each other and gentle with each other and understanding and forgiving and make it okay to screw up and fail and botch it up and apologize 
and and do better next time, right? Yeah, All of that's really important. That sounds like an amazing network and bench for, for anyone. So you're going to offer that to other people soon? I'm going to teach everybody how to do it for themselves. Oh, for themselves. Okay. And then I guess... My other thought is, like, are you doing other things outside of just being online? Like, it's an online community, but do you other, do other st- stuff, too, to get better connect these people? We do uh, live events. Okay. We would love to come to your town. You have one soon. That's why I want to make sure you remember it. Say it again. You have another one coming up here in a minute. So I, I know. Don't. I have a live <laughs> like, event here in Austin. Yeah, Thank so, you. Yeah. With who you met today, Adriana Carey. She's fantastic. Yeah, yeah isn't she fantastic? Yes. She's one of our partners in this in 10 Minutes to Togetherness that we're really excited about. Oh. In fact, I'm wearing my Togetherness bracelet. She gave me Here's trust. Trust. Nice. Yeah. 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 Um, we do live events. We do virtual events. Um, surprisingly, we have a huge number of New York Times bestselling authors on the list. So we will launch your Books. book if you are an author. We will, mm-hmm. we will help you hit that list. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Um, so tell me, if, if anyone here that's listening is interested, how do they find this list? You find the list at theli.st. Mm-hmm. You can find me at Anne Choquette on every social you can find us on LinkedIn. We're at the li.st. Those are the best places. I should also mention it's it's not a free list, right? You have to there's there's like a fee, right? That's so correct. that's a barrier as well. Yeah. For some a people. barrier? No, I mean it's for some people that that like, you know, I'm not saying in a bad way, it just might keep some of the riff crap out, I don't know. No. <laughs> Like That's not how we think about it, but yes, free, it's free a community. it's a very for profit well, business. Free could yeah, be there's tough. a fee, yeah. The, it's a it's a highly valuable network. Right. Yeah. I mean, you're not just going to hit submit without knowing like what you're getting into. It's not a, it's one. not an open network social media. Right. It's not. It's not swimming with the sharks. That's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's great. And so, um, anything else you're working on? You want to share? Because I don't want to make you late for your thing. Um, I'm working on some good Mexican food tonight. I really want to have you look at me like I'm going to cook it. I'm not cooking. Oh, it. oh. <laughs> I, no, I didn't expect. I just like, where, but I'm like, working. Where on, I'm working on making on eating some good Mexican food. I'm excited to be here in Austin. I'm ex- I'm I'm thrilled that you invited me here to be a part of this. I love how even though it's happy hour mm-hmm. and even though there are drinks and and queso in the back, that we have this crowd of yeah. folks who are sitting here who are li- who are like really engaged in this conversation about how do we create greater togetherness in the world. Like, to me, that's really powerful. That's a message that really cuts through. So I thank you all for being here and listening. Well, yeah, thanks everyone for being here. Thank you so much for, for being here you. as well, Ian. I thank you, and uh, good luck with the event and everything you're doing here. And thank the you. launch tomorrow. Thank you. Big day. Yep. See you tomorrow. All right, thanks. Bye.